Okay, so this is a continuation on the video I did previously. I talked a little bit about some of the tools people might use to create patent drawings. I feel like I left out some other very solid applications and I thought I'd make another video to cover that. But let's quickly review what we talked about before. In the previous video we talked about SketchUp being free, being fast, and the more quicker solution would be using this application for you know more of your basic or simple project work. There's Autodesk Fusion 360, also very fast. Unfortunately, it's kind of expensive, but it is an excellent application for very complex projects. Autodesk makes Fusion 360 an inventor. It also makes mechanical. So between these two applications, you can handle very, very complex architectures. So they would be actually ideal uh, to create patent drawings in that sense. There's also Siemens NX and Solid Edge. Uh, it's also very popular, very expensive. The learning curve to learn these is, is pretty high because, again, they handle a lot of your intense architectures. They also do automatic shading. If you want to produce your patent drawings, they have what's called View Styles. In SketchUp, they just call them Styles. Uh, but Autodesk, they call them View Styles. They'll add the shading to some of your drawings automatically. So that's also a solid feature. Plus, it does shading, automatic shading for material hatching. So if you had a cross-section view, depending on what you called that, that object when you created it. So you could, you could call it metal or wood or ceramic or what have you, or glass. And then if you did a cross section, you know, if you just kind of opened your product up to see the interior, that cross section would automatically have material shading on it. So that would be all set. There's also Desalt Works, Solid Works, and Keisha. We covered that a little bit. Also very good, but again, complex. So. These are your powerhouse applications to create patent drawings or any, you know, three-dimensional architectures. And they're all scalable. They're all very good. Then there's Solid Thinking. Solid Thinking makes Evolve. You can do it there. Sketchfab, you can do it there. So, and uh, some of the workflow that people will use would be either one of these applications for everything or they'll use, depending on their level of proficiency, uh, more than one application. So they'll have one application they do design in, they have one application that they actually handle some of their animations, they'll have another application that does sort of their shading, and they'll just import and export between those applications. And uh, so that's it. I hope you guys find it helpful. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.